Hello everyone and welcome. In this video we're going to be talking about variable induction systems in Mazda rotary engines and this is essentially like VTEC for rotary engines uh, because what it's doing is allowing for more airflow at higher engine loads at higher engine RPMs. Now if you look at the side of this engine, this is a 13B rotary engine out of a 1985 Mazda RX-7 you'll notice that there are six intake ports. So there's two here on the center plate, there are two on the rear plate here, and then there's two on the front plate as you can see right here. So as you can see, each of the rotor housings have three intake ports, one right here and then two on the sides, one right here, two on the sides. Now at any given time, two of these are always gonna be open. So both of the center ones are gonna be open and then the bottom one on this plate is going to be open, which feeds in here. And then you can see the top one here feeds in up right here. Now for higher engine loads, you can open up this port as well. So you can have maximum airflow and have all three ports open up. So here we're looking at the side view of what it looks like inside of that rotor housing. So here we have one of the intake ports which is always open and then an intake port which opens based on engine load. So at low load and low engine RPM, this is going to remain closed so that you have higher velocity of your air as that allows for better air fuel mixture. But once you get into the higher RPMs at higher engine loads, you're gonna want more airflow. And so to increase airflow, this is going to rotate open and then you can have more air pass in through here on the side and then out into the combustion chamber. So checking that out from the side, you can see that's where you're gonna have a little latch on there. And so you can have a solenoid which will open and close and actuate this to open it up and allow for more airflow or to reduce airflow in order to increase air velocity and maximize the air fuel mixture uh, mixing process. So with more modern rotary engines, such as the one used in the Mazda RX-8, it actually uses a three-stage variable induction system. So what we're looking at here, here we have the two rotors of the engine, and here we have the throttle body, so your air is going to come in. You're just going to have one intake port open at low RPMs, and so this allows for a faster air velocity, which is better for mixing the fuel with the air. And then as you get into the mid-RPM range with a slightly higher load, you want less restriction, so you open up this butterfly valve, that allows air and fuel to come in from both sides now and then finally once you get to your high rpms at high engine load and you want maximum airflow you open up this third valve and then you've got three intake ports which are allowing for air and fuel to come into the combustion chamber maximizing the amount of air maximizing the amount of fuel and then you get more power out of it and then for both uh, it's just a simple exhaust system so you have two ports on the sides which send that exhaust out the back and that's all there is to it. So if you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Thanks for watching.